Welcome back to Bags on the Go. See the arrow coop over there? About to tear that thing apart. About to get it ready for paint. So I gotta remove the top, bumpers, tape up any chrome that I don't wanna get sprayed, get paint sprayed on. It's time to tear it down so I can send it off to paint. So I'm excited about that. Um, my, my learning curve here is going to be learning how this top comes off and just how it works. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to record it all. So if you ain't know how this stuff goes, you can possibly be able to learn from me and do it yourself. Um, so let's go. So what I mean, y'all going to be able to see me take off the rain guard. Because you got to take the rain guard off. You also got to take the windshield trim off. And then I should be able to just go ahead and pull this right off. But I just learned that this piece right here, we are saving this rubber piece. I gotta go back on this track right here. So I gotta take my time and pull this off. See, it's just glued on the other side, but it's on this track. I didn't even know this. So I gotta drill those rivets out. And then I'm just gonna have to spray this. We spray this white. And then I can just take this top right off. But yeah, so let's get this top off. See, so it got like little spots like that. It's coming out the trim. And it's just dirty, you know what I'm saying? It's just dirty and it's old. I'm gonna go back with the same white that I put on my LS box Chevy. I like how it shine. It got like a rough texture. This is like more of a smooth texture. I, I want that, that rugged look. I want that, I, I think it looks better. It looks nice. And then it's gonna be nice and bright and white. Match my new white walls that's gonna be on this car. So, decided to keep the roof white. Let me pull this off. Show you how it goes. Let's get it. All right, so what I did was took the trim off around around here, around the inside of the door jam, and then you got this trim too. Got this trim, pull that off. So now I can see what's up under here. Hold up, let me use this. See what's up under here. See what's holding this top of one. See that's the bad part about these tops. Hmm. You know I look nasty now, but it's all that moisture and stuff from these tops that hold that water. That's why a lot of these cars right here be rusted up. It's crazy. I can't believe I'm tearing all this off. Right, right. No. 
Nah. See how they do that? So this is just folded over and under, and then the new piece starts here. So what I did to pull off the molding around the window, pulled up this corner and found this, and then I just kind of like got right up under the trim and pulled the trim outwards once I figured out that this is the clip. That's the clip, so the clip actually slides in and hold it in like that. So I got it off. I'm just being careful because you don't want to you don't want to break the glass trying to get this off. It ain't worth it. Let me show you real quick. Got to be careful with this one because it's a longer one. That looks messy. Yeah. I need a vacuum. I hate touching all this dirt. Why well, I don't like driving rust buckets? A lot of work. Can't do this and pull it.
take a picture. All right, so, so far, we got the top off. I got the molding around the wheel wheel off so they can paint all of that. I don't want no, no line right here. So remove that. So they're gonna take care of all of that. Um, I'm about to pull out these bezels right now. So I'll turn you back on when I got them off. Let's go. Man, I, I enjoyed this breakdown stage because after this, I never see it in this shape again. But check out the snag and two front end. These right here, so you got this one right here, that one right there, and then these, this one, and then this one. The light comes off with this one. The bezel, this bezel has been held on by this one, this one, this one, and then this one right here. See that? I'm gonna leave this one here. But I am about to drop this bumper, so maybe it gives me some room. I may have to move this filler out the way to get to it. I want to take it off so they can just paint it, but if you know, it's uh, it's hard to say. So I got to get this bumper off first. Then we're gonna see. But yeah, that's the next step. Let's try to get this bumper off now. All right, so as you can see, I got the bumper off. And I had a chance to just pull this back here to get to this bolt that's right here. I put it back in so I don't forget it, but that's the reason why I want to get this off. Look at all this dirt that's in here. Because I know when I take it to Mako, they ain't going to wash this car. They're going to do the body work on it and blow it off good and just get to work. So what I'm going to do before I get it there, I'm about to wash every crevice of this car. So ain't no dirt going to be falling out of nowhere and getting in my paint. Because when I did the wagon, it had dirt in that car in certain areas. And when they was working on that car, it was dirt falling in my paint. I can see it. The uh, Impala, on the other hand, it ain't have no dirt in it. Because I ain't have no old car that's been sitting outside. That car mostly in the garage. So I learned my lesson with that wagon. I said, okay, I know what I got to do. So, you know, I'm about to take this light off. I'm about to drop this back bumper. I'm about to take all of this out. Yeah, I'm getting there, y'all. I'm getting there. I'm gonna leave these on, though. I'm gonna leave these on. I'm just gonna tape them off very good. Uh, I'm gonna leave the door handles on, leave the locks in, leave all of this on, just tape it all off. Uh, tape, off tape off the chrome, but I need them to spray all up in there. Uh, what else? Tape off the chrome. I need to get new window seals for the driver's side. The driver's side ain't looking too good. Other than that, yeah, it's, we we coming. I was gonna clean up under the hood this week, but you know what? I said when they paint the car, they gonna get overspray over everything. So I might as well just come right behind them when I get it back and do my full touch up and do my whole clean up up under the hood. Up under the hood is original. This is all original. I don't know what I'm going to do, but you already know I'm going to get up under here and clean it up. I already got a new one in the trunk. Well, I took it out, but I got a new one of these, so I'm going to clean up under the hood, scuff it down. Um, I don't know what this is. Right here, y'all see this number? 831, let's say 3779. Hmm, a little birthmark tag right there. So yeah, I'm gonna clean up under the hood when I get it back because they're gonna have overspray dust everywhere. I learned my lesson with the Impala. I sent my Impala to the shop when I got a bag of hat, overspray over everything. I said, gotcha. Taking my hug caps off so I don't get my uh, my clean hug caps filthy. Overspray. I don't care about these tires because they go. Uh, should I remove this mirror though? I need to find me a new seal. I don't like this right here. This gotta go. Took the badges off. So yeah, I'm about to make my way to the back. Took the badge off. Make my way to the back, finish stripping her down. Let's get it. All right, so this is stuff you gotta do for Mako because Mako gonna charge you for this or they are not gonna do this. So this is small things for that person that can. You know, remove most of the stuff, take the stuff apart. 
then they ain't got no problem. They paint the car. They just ain't gonna do all that small stuff, and if they do, they gonna tack on that fee for it. So you might as well start tearing your car apart on your own. It's my first time tearing this car apart, but I mean, these old cars ain't nothing to it. Take your time, start moving and stuff, we move and jiggle. <laughs> Wiggle and jiggle, baby. Um, so yeah, this rear bumper panel right here, it's still there. We got a new one, so I ain't got to worry about that. stuff I do be the first time but ain't nothing to it man
Take a look at it, I'll be right back. This bumper is a no joke. I had to use penetrating Oreo, some blaster, some heat, and I'm on the last pole right now. So this is where I'm leaving off for today. Got both of the bumpers off. I got the facial tour part. I got the rear tour part. I think I'm gonna leave the headlights, uh, tail lights in there, and that uh, reverse panel. I'm gonna leave that in there too. But I want them to paint around the gas tank area. Uh, my new filler. I gotta give them my new filler. So I'll give them the new filler and then I'll take this off and give this to them as well so they can all uh, spray that. But other than that, uh, I think I may go ahead and just let them sand this all down for me so I ain't got to do it here. It's a little messy job. It ain't, it ain't much. I could do it, but they're going to sand the car down anyway. So yeah, so pop the hug caps off thinking about taking this mirror off but mm, it'll be all right because I'm not taking the door handles off or the lock off so it's just gonna get taped off I still gotta tape the car so I'll start taping the car off tomorrow hopefully be ready to send this off Wednesday and there you go there goes my aero coupe getting ready head to the paint shop 
wasn't hard work, but it was, it was some work. But them boats, boy, they was back there. They was holding on. They was holding on. They did not want to come off, but uh-uh. I said, you coming off today. Front end, I'm leaving the headlights in there. I don't really care about them headlights because I'm going to go ahead and take them out and put the clear lenses like the ones that's on my wagon. Um, all of this stuff here, while I got it out, I want to touch up. I want to touch up all of, you know, all of this and then put some new fresh black in there. See, these grills, they did have black in the inside. But I don't know what I'm going to do with the grill. I really ain't looking to buy a new one or nothing like that. Because all of this stuff is pretty much going to be old. So I ain't trying to put too many new parts on it. Just clean it up. If I got to put vinyl on the inside or paint it. Get a paintbrush and throw some black paint in there. It still will be a night and day difference from what it is. But uh, I am going to put some, some black vinyl there. I am going to clean up all of these. All the way around they look like they're in good shape so all I gotta do is just clean them up buff them out and they'll shine again but other than that man that looks it looks to be about enough for today I'm at the end of the roll I'm breaking it down and getting it ready for paint so hey man y'all watching the video once again checking it out I appreciate y'all for tuning in this bag's on the go. Man, I worked the whole day, and then at the end of the day, got right to work on my Caprice. Could do this all day long, but now it's time to go home, recharge the battery, because I gotta get back to it tomorrow. Hey, y'all, thanks for being tuned in on the breakdown, getting ready for paint. But uh, she ready. And uh, the top that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same top that I put on my LS box Chevy when I did the quarter top. I'm gonna put that same. It's like uh, it's like it's got a texture to it and it's a shiny white uh, instead of just going with that regular just vinyl white. We're gonna put a little special touch on that so when I put them new white walls on it, they gonna match. Be brand new. So, hey y'all, I appreciate y'all watching me again. This bag's on the go. Thanks for being tuned in. Make sure you hit the like button. I need more likes on all my videos, please. I need more likes. If you like anything about the video, just like the button for me. Um, share the video. You already subscribed to the channel. If you're just watching, make sure you subscribe to the channel because as you see, what I'm doing, it ain't nothing new done other cars there's gonna be more cars so you don't want to miss these updates this bag's on the go and i'll catch y'all next time peace man i'm doing my first landau type top i pulled it off can't wait to put that new top back on i'm learning i'm learning